this is so overdone. What's up everyone? You'll notice my set is different today. That's because I'm collabing with my friend Angel. What's up? Angel has this camera, the Canon M50, and I have the Canon SL2. And today we're gonna compare them. There are two very good cameras for beginners who wanna get started on YouTube. So we're gonna go over the specs and the use. Let's get into it. So, the SL2 and the Canon M50, these are two very similar cameras, but we're gonna go over some of the important differences. The first and most obvious is the size. You'll notice that the SL2 is a lot bigger, and that's because it's a DSLR. The M50 is a mirrorless camera, which means it doesn't have a mirror that flips up every time you take a picture. DSLRs tend to be heavier than their mirrorless counterparts, which could be considered either a benefit or a flaw, depending on your use. When I'm vlogging, I like my camera to be as light as possible, and if I had one, I'd probably use the M50 for vlogging. So the size point goes to the M50. Next, let's talk about lens compatibility. Canon is known for its high quality glass and having tons of it. Like they have tons of lenses, but all of that awesome gear doesn't work with the M50. The SL2 has an EF mount, while the M50 only has an EF-M mount, which requires an adapter to work with most Canon lenses. You can get one for a hundred bucks from B&H. Thankfully, Canon seems to be shifting their focus, no pun intended, to the mirrorless lineup. They have so much glass for DSLRs and that kind of camera, but they don't really have anything for mirrorless. So one thing they're trying to do is get more lenses for cameras like these. They really need it. Yep. <laughs> now that's great, but given the lens availability right now, or for the next few years, it's really limited. So the SL2, gets the lens compatibility point. Next thing I want to talk about is resolution. Now, fair disclaimer, I still shoot in 1080p for everything. I think I've only posted one video in 4K and it was with a GoPro, so it, was, it really wasn't like the highest quality. And, and I'm fine with only being in 1080p. I don't need 4K. It's like not everyone has a 4K monitor at their disposal. Most people are still in 1080p. So 4K isn't urgent. But for those of you who really care about 4K, here are the numbers. Both cameras can shoot up to 60 frames per second in 1080p, but the M50 can do 4K at 24 frames per second. Asterisk, asterisk, there, there are a lot of conditions. First, I said it's, in, it's only in 24 frames per second. You can't do 30 even, and you definitely can't do 60. Secondly, there's a crop factor of 1.6, which with an APS-C sensor, that makes your crop factor like 2.5 total compared to a full frame camera. And thirdly, you lose Canon's beautiful dual point autofocus, which is fine if you're manual focusing everything like, like a, a film or something, but Good luck vlogging in 4K. As for the SL2, it only does 1080p. No 4K at all. Although it may not be the best 4K, it is 4K. And as many of us know, the YouTube algorithm favors higher resolution content. So if you really care about the algorithm or if you are just really adamant about shooting in 4K, then by all means, go ahead and get the M50. Just because it has 4K at all, the M50 gets the point. Let's talk about price. The price difference between these cameras is kind of insane. Now, mirrorless cameras are newer technology, which means they're gonna be more expensive. The Canon SL2 costs, oh, what did it cost? 450, 580. This is- Mine cost 600. With the lens? Yeah. Okay, I might need to update these numbers. Here, why don't I just bring you in for this segment? Now, did you buy the body and the lens? Or did you just buy the body and the lens separate? I got the... Do you want me to do the audio through there too? So I actually got this camera at about $600. I got them at Best Buy and the lens came with the lens in the body itself. I bought mine for $600 too. That was with the kit lens. Uh, I bought mine quite a, quite a long time before he did buy his. Now it's been a while. Prices have changed. So I've done my research. It looks like the body only for the SL2 costs 450 bucks and the body only for this camera it says it costs 580 but that can't be right right no nope, there's no 20 dollar lens check check it out they're always changing do keep in mind though that what you're paying for extra is a like a higher resolution and a smaller form factor and um and that's really it this one costs more sl2 is cheaper if you don't mind coughing up the extra dough get the n50 but the sl2 gets the price point so let's go out and I'll let you know periodically what I'm thinking. All right, let's go do some comparing. See you in downtown.
right, what's up? It's Editing Steven, and I'm going to talk about all that GoPro footage I got while I was shooting. <clears throat> Let's start from the top, shall we? All right, good to go. Just walk into normal. Sweet. Hang on. Your camera doing something automatically. Why won't they stay? It's compensating for something. And it's in manual mode. It's changing my shutter speed. Okay, looking back on it, it might've been ISO, but it's in manual mode. The camera shouldn't do that, right? Like maybe, maybe I was doing something wrong, but uh, to my knowledge, the M50 was in full manual mode and still compensated for something. Whether that was ISO or exposure compensation. Uh, no, it would just correct for whatever it was metering, you know? So I think it's in this shot, I actually, Angel's shirt is black, so I put it on his shirt, it exposed for that, and I turn it to like a brighter area. Watch what happens. This is here. It is compensating. Yeah, I, I don't know. My camera doesn't do that. It could be a setting I had messed up or something. Like maybe, I don't know. If you, have an, if you own an M50 and you know it really well, let me know if you've had this problem and know how to solve it, but um, like straight off the bat, first day shooting with the M50, I didn't know what to do. Or was the one that you just took? They're on one take. Oh, this this was, um, this was is actually a really cool feature I saw. My camera doesn't have this, so I'm super jealous. They're on one video. Oh, okay, okay. Here. Oh, you can scroll like that? I can't do that. Playback scrubbing. Um, I want, I want playback scrubbing. I'm actually jealous of this. This would be so helpful, especially for my shooting style. I like to shoot everything in one clip. Like these talking head videos will all be one giant clip that I have to chop up. And sometimes when I'm shooting B-roll, I tend to like cut between different shots I'm going for, even between tight and wide shots of the same scene. But sometimes I'm just rushing or I don't, like I forget to cut and I just capture the transition but uh, I don't have the ability to scrub past the first take or the first shot that I got to see the next one. So this would really make my life easier, Canon. If you, if you wouldn't mind doing a firmware update, that'd be awesome. See, the image stabilization is pretty good on this. Like, I think it's optical. Ah, okay. That's it. My camera has, has optical image stabilization, the SL2 which I would normally think is better because it's not like taking any pixels away, but I've worked with the M2 for over a year. I, no, wait, what? Um, I've worked with the SL2 for over a year and I don't think it's the greatest. I mean, like part of it's I, I have really jittery hands and you know, it, it, I'm sure it's fine for, for some people, but in my hands, I feel like the digital stabilization of the M50 was was uh, better and yes it like steals pixels from you but that's sometimes that's okay I'm not a real stickler for how many pixels I lose I mean I use warp stabilizer all the time yeah so those are the only two things I really the major things I notice while shooting part part of it is that I'm not super familiar with the M50 because I don't own one and I know the SL2 really well I'm sure if I bought the M50 I'd be I'd be much more knowledgeable of it See, this is all from my experience so. Everything I say, take it with a grain of salt. So that that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure you like if you liked it, sub if you loved it, and I will, oh yes, and hit the bell too. I'll leave the link to Angel's channel and his video in the description and up here. See you next week. Bye. Whoa. I'm still getting used to this new lens. See, I used to just be able to cover the old lens just like that, but you actually gotta go all the way around it. That's kind of crazy. Oh, 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 oh,